setting out these walls, I really want him nice and straight, level, and to avoid these steels. So what I do is, I just get a 45mm bit of timber, clamp it on a steel, I do the same the other end, ping a line all the way, and then I have a piece of timber, 40 mil, 5 mil smaller, and I will adjust my plate to the line. One thing I have learned, a valuable lesson for myself, is some of the steels are very mildly out level. They're good, but just slightly out. So when it comes to the top, they're very close to being steels. So what I'll do is next time, there's a learning curve for myself, is level up, do a timber block, straight through to the other end, and then work from that. So if I feel I need to get like a 35 mil block or 30 mil block, just guarantee that my walls all the way through all level and spot on and miss the steels. Insulation in behind the steels, got all the bottom plates, top plates in, one side's done, just going along putting all the noggins in, gonna work our way around the build tomorrow, got a nice big open section here, looking forward to doing that of all the angles, and then same the other end, just infilling this now so I need to get it level from the top down so what we did is pull the line one side to the bottom and just got a plumb line the old school old-fashioned way for the top down keep it simple works a treat all right got a bit of timber on there to leave it we've leveled it Fixed it up, pushed it slightly further than the level so that pull back. And then we take the leverage stick off. Gonna put a row of noggins through the centre. And when we get to the top, I'm gonna have to put one in steel and form a wedge so I can wedge that tight. And I wanna get one at either end and in the middle so it's solid. Well, it's it with COP. How we get the top? I one against the steel, and we know it's gonna be a 90 degree angle. I'll just hold my tape straight on there and I'll hold it at a point. So you've got, it's on a 500, now I've got 635, so that's 135. The right angle, and we know the pitch, is 30 degrees. Keep it simple, cut it two mil longer, whack it in tight. But what I will say is putting a noggin in a steel, so when you fix into it, the timber won't, won't go up because it's at the top of the web. And just tie it all in, it helps to squeeze it tight. If there's any spaces of noggins, we just get a ratchet, tighten them up, lovely job. Just working on a ladder is a little bit different from the usual. So joists, rafters, however you want, you want to call them. Two by two counter batten for airflow. What we've done is we've just run them long. I'm going to tie them in with a bit of four by two, but we've ripped them down the same thickness, two bits of two by two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a four by one up, take the weight there, another two by two to pick up the soffit. And then we're going to lower the four by one here in line with the underneath. That way, it will tie in for whatever's gonna happen next on the next phase of, phase of the build. Yeah, that works well, a little rip down. Pick up the bottom. Take the weight of that ladder. Nice. This end was slightly different, so what we've done is we've put the two by twos on the top of joists, rafters, and then we drew a bit of four one down and planed it on a steel to pick it up. And now what we're going to do is scrub a bit of timber in so it's in line here as a pickup point for the ply. And Harry and Dave just putting the timber here to pick up the soffit. Like I previously mentioned, we ripped down the four by two. So it's the exact same thickness as two pieces of two by two together. Nice. 
nice job. Fashion soffit, usually I put a timber along the back to pick up the soffit, but I had to do this differently. Got our backing board going up, six by two, it's hanging down off the two by two. So what we've done is, we've leveled a bit of timber along the back, laser leveled, and we've set up our guide on a skill saw, and we've took two cuts out so we can get a perfect square out, and we're just gonna put them in like that, so that'll take the weight, so we can fix up. So we're level across, get one in, do one a couple of meters long, do the same again, clamp a level across, and then we're gonna fix them in. That will hold it square, and that will take some of the weight and some of the pressure, and it's just a matter of fixing down there. So we've got a nice, solid, facial and soft fit set up. How nice and straight that is.